So if you follow me on TikTok, you would know that I had a relapse, unfortunately. But today is a new day. A relapse is a part of this journey, but today we're gonna make it the best day ever. Every time a relapse happens to me, my mind just really gets tired. It just gets really, really blank. I can't think at all. My body gets really, really tired too. My face gets bloated a lot and I'm just hot all the time. Like I'm really, really physically hot. I knew that my body's going to be really tired and it's going to need a lot of rest. That's why I turned off the alarm clock for today in the morning and I kind of slept in. Every time a relapse happens, you really need to be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it. So let's get some water in me. Ah. Get up with a smile because it gives you good hormones in your mind and it's just going to brighten up your day. Now I'm going to wash my face with really cold water to reduce bloating. And now I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes so I can have my brain back. <laughs> now that's done, let's go get some breakfast. Every time I have a relapse, meaning that I binge and I purge, my hunger and satiety cues get really messed up, unfortunately. So I really need to make sure that the days after I eat enough, I'm probably not gonna be able to listen to my body's cues the next few days. So I'm going to have to eat mechanically. That means that I'm going to have to make sure that I eat at least three meals and two snacks a day. And I'm gonna make sure that I have a breakfast that makes me happy. And you know what it is, a yogurt bowl. <laughs> so I've got some frozen raspberries here. And also a banana, granola, and peanut butter, of course. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. And a little more. Hoo -hoo. And ta-da, we've got the best breakfast ever. So if you're going through the same maybe, make sure that you don't restrict the next days. Because what that's gonna do is that it's gonna throw you back in the binging and purging cycle and you don't want to be there, no. And also usually in the morning I work out for like 10 minutes only, but today I am not doing that because my body's really, really tired and if I really worked out today, it would really be just pushing myself and trying to compensate for whatever I did yesterday and no. I don't hate myself, <laughs> I'm not gonna make myself suffer I'm not gonna torture myself, so no, I'm not working out. I'm going to be extremely kind to myself. Imagine if your body was like a puppy. If you're kind to it, it's gonna be kind to you. If you're mean to it, it's gonna bite back. It's really, really important for you to take some time and rest and really think about what triggered you. Understand what the triggers were so you know what to avoid the next time and make sure that it doesn't affect you. For example, for me, it was that yesterday I filmed another YouTube video for this channel and I was talking about the eating disorder again. It reminded me that I have some issue with eating and I think that that unconsciously triggered me and that is not good at all. Remember that recovery is going to be ups and downs But you have to remember that each time you relapse each time that you go down You just go up again and even higher because you realize and know and understand what happened this time And you know how to avoid the same situation the next time again So really really be proud of yourself of how far you've come I mean if I just think about the mindset that I had like a year ago I can't even believe how far I've come and how many fear foods and food rules I've already been beaten and so should you think about it be proud of yourself you don't even realize how difficult this battle is this fight with yourself and how strong you are so really really be proud of yourself because I'm proud of you and remember you are not in this alone we are in this together and we've got this we deserve to be happy and free and we're just gonna keep fighting until we're there Mikey just brought me something Chocolate! Make sure you eat a lot of food that makes you happy. <laughs> Um, no, I love chocolate. I'm not really doing much today. I'm just really lying in the bed editing a little bit. At least I'm doing something productive. But I don't really have any big plans today. I'm just gonna rest and not do much. <laughs> it's one now and we're having lunch. I've got some stir fried veggies with rice and also an amazing soup with some spinach. I really have the need to go outside to clear out my mind because I haven't been outside for a few days now and it's kind of like getting on me if you know what I mean. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go grocery shopping because there's not really another place to go these days. But honestly, 
know, I love grocery shopping. It's like my favorite activity in the world. <laughs> I'm in a little need of a uh, retail therapy. <laughs> Goodbye. No! <laughs> These are the things that I bought. Cereal, my granola, snacks, a massive cucumber, oat scrapes, of course, the love of my life. <laughs> Avocados, some delicious yummy bread, apple salad, a lot of frozen berries, ice cream. Okay, I take it back. This is the love of my life. Some cookies and more cookies. And that is the damage I did today. <laughs> but as you can see, I also bought things that I usually would binge on. And that's the key here. Do not be afraid of the foods. Do not be afraid of having them at home. Do not be afraid of them. Buy them. And enjoy them that is the balance and the mindset we're striving for and you are strong enough to control every fear that you have in your mind because of your eating disorder and be able to enjoy life to the fullest it's almost four now I'm actually not feeling hungry at all but I know that I have to eat something as I said before a relapse always messes up my hunger and satiety cues and I always usually get a little bit hungry during this time so I just figured Let's have a snack. I'm gonna have a piece of bread with frisch käse, <laughs> cream cheese, and some cucumbers. We've been playing dinosaurs this whole time. We're pretending that this is the Hogwarts universe. This is Ron Weasley, obviously. <laughs> and this is Harry. That is Hermione. Because velociraptors are the smartest dinosaurs that we have at home. <laughs> It's seven now and we're having dinner. You can really see who my mom loves more. <laughs> We've got some fried rice with veggies and ham. And we're gonna watch Night at the Museum. A little movie night for us. And I'm also gonna have some well-deserved dessert. <laughs> I've got some ice cream, a cookie, and some delicious strawberries. And that's it for today. Today was a really pretty cool day. It was a day full of relaxing and not really stressing out too much because that's all we deserve. We gotta be happy. We gotta be relaxed and chill about life, especially after we have a bad day. We really hope that you're all doing well, that you are loving yourself, you are being kind to yourself and that you are safe and your whole family is safe. But that's it for today. Have a nice day. And don't waste your life away. Bye. Bye.